Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Big Vale, and in today's video, we're going to be continuing my mini series. This is the second episode of Will It Spam? So, in the first episode, we covered mass golems, so nine golems to be precise. Uh, pulled off a few good triples, so if you haven't already seen it, I definitely recommend watching it. Maybe you'll get inspired. Maybe you're just curious to see how it's possible to three star a max, uh, max Town Hall 13 with golems. Either way, guys, definitely I'd recommend checking it. But on this episode, we're going to be covering off mass balloons, so a minimum of 48 balloons per attack. And I've been trying and trying for the last few days to figure out something that works, figure out a composition that gets the job done. I've been struggling, I've been failing you guys, I'm sorry. I've been trying to get this video out, and I was hoping to get it out a couple of days ago, but I just could not figure out how to consistently get good results from 48 balloons. So, well, I recruited some help from some good friends. So on my Twitch stream last night, twitch.tv slash bigvale83, I put on a little war, a little friendly war, got some guys involved from the stream, some pro players, some guys who really, really should be pro players, and asked them to essentially put on some attacks for me. So their attacks had to focus around 48 balloons, otherwise they were invalid and Stars didn't count, whatever, whatever. Um, but yeah, we actually got some really good results out of it. So we got some decent hits, so some near misses, but we also got one amazing triple. One amazing triple that I know you're going to be impressed by. I know it. So guys, I'm not going to keep up the suspense much longer. I will mention now that you're not going to see my war attack in the video because I kind of rushed into mine because I had to shoot off to go and cover a war at, towards the end of the friendly war. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, mine is omitted. A couple of others are as well. I've only picked out the highlights from the war, but I will do a live attack in the Legends after you've seen these war attacks. Uh, just so you can see, as I'm doing it, I can talk you through what I'm thinking, what my, what my rationale is behind the different moves that I make. And I know what you're thinking. It's spam. How much thinking is there involved? Not too much, in all honesty. But... Either way, guys, enough talk. Let's get on with the video. Enjoy. It's Rainberry in on Tam Tam. So Rainberry coming in with 48 balloons. Obviously, that's the uh, that's the quota here. Six bat spells, a rage, three freeze, a lightning, and a poison. So technically, the other team was supposed to attack first, but Rainberry being Rainberry, the guy doesn't follow rules, and he's just going for it. He's keen to get started. So he's got his king and queen suited in. He's got a stone slammer here. Which, it, it kind of surprises me a little bit. It surprises me, because I've got a feeling I know what he's going to be coming up with next. I know what he's going to be doing. Unless he's changed up his CC, I feel like, knowing him, he's the master of queen charges. He'll probably have healers in his CC. So king and queen doing a good job of Sui, and maybe he just doesn't feel like he needs a, a queen charge. Maybe he just feels like a Sui is enough to get the job done. He's got 46 of his balloons left. He's got six bat spells, three freeze, a lightning, and a rage. So he's turning this into a Bat Lolo, a Sui Bat Lolo without the hounds. It's not really a Lolo, it's a Bat Lolo. Bat Lolo from Rainberry. Balloons rolling in, Warden down at 8, RC coming in behind. And the RC is acting almost, almost kind of like a hound. So it's tanking, it's heavy, it's going to pick up the Eagle Artillery shots. But it's also going to get some good, good damage done. So we've got Lolo and not Loons and the Stone Slam. I'm gonna get used to this, I promise. Loons and the Stone Slam are coming in from 9 10 o'clock. We've got some more balloons coming in from 5, moving in towards those two prone defenses. We've got balloons in the core. He's used the eternal tome, but he does still have six bat spells and they do go in. He's got a bat wave rolling. Bat wave coming in. He's got three freezes, a lightning and a rage. Stone slammer pops, draggling comes out. He's gonna rage up what? What's gonna get raged? Is it gonna be the bats? Probably not, no need for that. No need to rage the bats. Warden's taking eagle artillery shots and the bats are starting to split and move over towards the eagle. How is he doing this? Rainberry is getting a three star here. Rainberry is going to triple. Tam Tam. The bats have gone down actually though. Bats are gone. Has he got enough clean up here to get this done? He's got one more balloon to send in. He's got two swag freezes and a swag lightning. <laughs> this is just, this is just insane. This is insane. So he's got a good split on his dragon and loons. He's got... He's dropped his final balloon in. That's gone in at uh, 10.30. I think he can get this. I think he will get this. 
I think Rainberry is coming in with a three star on Tam Tam. With 48 balloons. What on earth is that? What on earth? And this won't be any of uh, this won't be a bad base from Tam Tam. Actually, it's just going to be a time fail. It could. It could time fail. This could be a 99. Is it a 99? If it is, then I feel bad. He's got the lightning. Drops the lightning, and it is not a 99. Clutches it up with the lightning. Rainberry picking things off for a three star. Does it spam? Yes, it does. 48 balloons. Spam attack from Rainberry. Spoker. Spoker coming in on putty. Spoker rocking the 48 balloons again. Of course, six lightning and a quake. He's got one invisibility spell, 10 minions, two ice golems. So he's not looking for super wall breakers to get anywhere, and understandably so. So he's got um, plenty of holes in the walls here all around the base. So his king and queen theoretically get in towards the town hall without need for any breaks. So he's done a... Okay, okay, okay. So the core's taken out with the Zap Quake. Blint moves over to the Scattershot compartment. He's looking to use these balloons surgically. Surgical balloon drops just to try and create the funneling necessary to get his heroes inside towards the town hall here. So RC down at 8.30. Invisibility. Ooh. Ooh. That was a nice little trick with the RC. Invisibility goes down on the Cannon Wizard Tower and Arch Tower. Make sure the RC's shield flew in towards the scatter shot, towards the single inferno. Eight down, beautiful work. The king down at 9.30. We've got some minions up at 12. Just clearing some space out at the top side. Queen goes in behind the king. Ice got them down as well. Ooh. The king isn't going to be able to get to the queen. Oh, he is. There's a hole in that wall. King gets the queen down. DC pull, poison down. Witches, archers... Maybe a headhunter? No, just witches and archers from Spoker. Uh, from Putty, sorry. Queen's going to step up inside towards the town hall. This is looking amazing so far. He's still got 38 balloons to send in. This is the one of the most patient and well thought out series that I've seen since... Ooh, since Rainberry's hit. So Queen takes down the clan castle, snipes away the skeletons spawned from the traps, and the Queen now locks onto the town hall. She's got her ability... We'll burn it soon. There we go. Now it's down to the balloons. What can the balloons do? This is naked balloons. Balloons with no tanking, no protection. Freeze. No, it's not a freeze. It's an ice golem popping. Ice golem pops. Doesn't freeze up the scatter, unfortunately. The eternal tome has to come into play. So we've got two hastes to send in. It sends one in now. Massive batch of balloons locked onto by the eagle. Could probably do with dropping another haste down there. He did. Plenty of balloons survived. It's looking like it's starting to die off a little bit. Maybe we're not looking at a three-star here. If we're not, then we're still looking at a pretty damn impressive two-star from Spoker. Beautiful Siri. I feel like the balloons bunched up far too much there and made themselves really easy targets for the Eagle Artillery. But all round, not a bad try from Spoker. Credit where it's due, man. That was good. That was good. Okay. And it's rising still. Percentage still increasing. Good try. Good try. Okay. So, um, do they attack again? Yes, please, Dinger. Yes, please. So we've still got minions working away. We're not going to get any more percent here. So it's an 85% two-star from Spoker. Tam Tam in on Rainberry. Tam Tam in on Rainberry, our three star hero. 48 balloons again. I'm going to keep saying that. No, I won't. I'll stop saying it because it's obvious it's 48 balloons. We've got one rage, three freeze, three haste, the poison, and four invisibility. So this blizzard is going to be epic if it makes it to its target. Don't think it did. Don't think it made it to where it was meant to. I think it was hoping to land in the core. And that was the aim from Tam Tam. A bit of a blizzard fail here, to be honest. So the Super Wizard is going to eventually get the Queen down, but there's only one Super Wizard up, and no more invisibility spells. I don't think he's going to get the damage that he was looking for. In hindsight, maybe he's thinking, maybe I should have done better than that. Yeah, and you would be right, Tam Tam. You should have done. That was disappointing. RC coming in from 12. RC going to take out the multi-inferno. He's got the king down at one. He was heavily baited in fairness to him. That blimp was caught up in a nado, smashed by seeking air mines. He had no chance. And really, it was quite an unusual angle that he came in from. You wouldn't have expected 
a bait to be there. So Arcee's ability is about to get forced. Does she get the cannon down first? She does. So that shield bounces one more to the mortar. RC steps up. She's going to take down the expo. Archer tower, maybe? Maybe? No. Archer tower doesn't go down. Queen, she's going to struggle to step inside towards the town hall here. It's been active for a while. Freeze is up the town hall. Sneaky goblin moves in. Can the queen follow? See oh, what is she doing? She's shooting the wall. She's shooting the wall here, guys. I see what Tam Tam's plan was here to try and eat out the core with the blizzard. Get the queen to take out the town hall. And honestly, the patting would have been gorgeous then. It would have been so good. It just didn't quite work out. So all because of that heavy baiting from Rainberry. So now he's got the loons coming in. So he's treating it like a normal Lala, I suppose. But with heavy loons, no hounds. I think moving in towards the multi-inferno. Eternal Tome fires off nice and early. He's got two scatter shots to contend within the core. So a triple is absolutely out of the question here. But, but, just because it's not a triple doesn't mean we can't see a quality two-star here from him. This is a war of basically will it spam. And the focus on today's war all is around Lolo. Or loons, sorry. Mass loons. So I've done a recent YouTube video, um, check my channel guys, check the previous video to this one and you'll see my first in the series of Will It Spam, it focused on 9 golems, so it was 9 golems that I used, that's 270 housing space of golems and I got 3 triples I think on that, uh, that video. So if you're interested in trying some unconventional spam attacks I'd recommend watching this series. We're only on the second video of it right now, so this is the Will It Spam Balloon Edition. So far. We've seen a few attacks go in. And we've had a a triple. We've had a triple. We've had a near miss from Jesse. We've had a actually pretty close one from Tam Tam. I'm calling this one close because I feel that if the Blizzard had made it into the core, we could have been looking at a three star here. Zoro. Zoro is in on Mamba. And someone else is attacking live too. But Zoro is in on Mamba. Zoro coming in with a loon spam. He's got a golem. He has got a golem. He's got 13 loons held back. So it looks like he's trying to use his balloons to do some heavy damage to start with, which is kind of unfortunate. He's found a nado and he's losing a ton of them right now. But it looks like he's going to try and start with the loons, finish with the Sui, which is a little bit unconventional, a little bit of a backwards way of doing things. But if it works, it works. We'll see. This is all about discovery and figuring out what what could be done to make this work. We're trying to find out loons, will they spam? And so far, we're getting mixed results. Mixed results so far. I'm optimistic though, guys. I think we've got enough talented players in this war to prove that it is possible to three star with 48 balloons. So far we've only seen it once and that happens to have been the first attack in the war and that was from Rainbow. We'll show that recap a little bit later on stream. For those of you watching this on YouTube then, well just rewind it and watch it again, you know, easily done. So RC is in, so the RC Sui portion's down, the golems already popped, we've got golemites finished off, the queen is raged up, the RC is raged up, the town hall of course taken down by the blimp that did safely make it in, he's got an invisibility spell built to use. Unfortunately, the witch from the CC is still up. Notice that he held back 13 balloons. Now, see what he's doing. He's doing it in two phases. So he's looking to try and take out the top side with balloons, try and make the Sui's life a lot easier. Send in the balloons to try and clear out more of a path for the queen, and then hopefully have the queen clutch it up. Great thinking, theoretically. In reality, it didn't quite work out for him, but he is getting a two-star. So far, it's on 61%. It May go up one or two more percent. But yeah, not a bad try from Zoro. Good try. Good try, my friend. Okay, now we've just got some archers chipping away at the gold storage at the top. And there's not really much point watching that. If anything, they'll probably get one more percent here. So Zoro, good try. We'll call it a 63. No, we won't. Skeletons move in. The light, you know what? Oh, okay, skeletons didn't finish the job. They took out one of the archers, but that takes away much of the chance of it turning into a 63. So I think that's going to be a 62% two star. It is definitely one more skeleton appears out of nowhere, moves in, takes out the archer. 62% two star from Zoro. Mamba in on Zoro. So Mamba's coming in with 
Okay, okay. So he's gone for a form of Lalo. Okay. 48 loons, a hound, an ice golem, and a few goblins. He's got his Sui, of course. He's got a blizzard moving in to wipe out the town hall. Hopefully, for Mamba's sake, the wizards won't walk into the path of the Gigabomb when the town hall blows. And they didn't. They stayed outside, made invisible again. I think he was about to sacrifice them, but realized they were still alive. But now they've died. They're gone. They're gone. Wizards, you did a wonderful job, but value has ended. King down at 9 o'clock. He's going to clear out everything on the outside. Can he move in? Depends if he goes to the Archer Tower, I guess. If he goes towards the Archer Tower, then he may move in on the cannon. He's definitely going to be forced inside now because the Ice Golem and Queen have gone down. King will take out the lab and then move in. Cannon will go down and he can take out Scattershot. Queen will hopefully for member's sake follow him in and she doesn't she doesn't she thinks about it goes back out again now she goes inside queen can reach over the wall take out the expo sweeper bomb tower and wizard tower down on the south side king's ability still oh it's gone off never mind he hasn't still got the ability queen being tanked for by a hound at the moment and the balloons are moving in queen is gonna step up take out the cannon but i think that's her value almost done for if she can get the sweeper down that's bonus points for sure freeze goes down on sweeper scatter and inferno great choice on the freeze placement for mamba balloons caught in a nado and hit by an eagle artillery he's got more balloons to send in three more balloons for that matter it's an all time goes off at a nice time rage goes down rage up balloons under it's an all time devastating he's still got the rc to send in though guys so let's not rule it out of three star Oh, he's sent the RC in, sorry. It's got its ability. It's hiding underneath the hound. If only he had headhunters. If he had headhunters and maybe another three or four spells plus another 20 balloons, this would definitely be a triple from Mamba. As it is, though, guys, it seems to be dying to death. He has confirmed the two-star. He's still got an archer to drop in for cleaning up, and he's already got some cleanup around the top side, so that's why he took goblins in. There's a lot of storages and collectors, so great value to be had. RC trying to finish off the pups to protect his cleanup troops doesn't get the job done, and they can move in and take out the goblins. Soon enough, the attack will be over. One archer down at the bottom is not going to get anything else. 74% two star from Mamba from Dutch Titans. Great try. Great try. Sander in on Camwell. My team could be in trouble here. Sander, pro player for class champs. Coming in with 48 balloons. Super Warbreaker, 12 minions, an ice golem, two headhunters, and an archer. He's got plenty of spell support here, so four invisibility. So it's going to be a blizzard. It's clearly going to be a blizzard, isn't it? So blizzard, obviously the way forward. Dropping it where? Just, hmm. This placement, I'm not sure it's perfect. Where's he aiming for? I would have thought try and go between the two scatter shots. I mean, there must be a reason why he didn't. Maybe he felt that it may have been baited. Still not bad value. The only problem is that Super Wizards, since the nerf, have reduced chain value. So any damage that might have been done to the Inferno Tower, so you can see the multi-Inferno in the core, has gone down to very low HP. Pre-update, that would have gone down. That would have been dead. Pups come in. Because these super wizards pop the hound, of course. Poison goes down and the pups are gone. So CC dealt with beautifully. He doesn't have the blimp anymore. So he's going to have to sue the town hall. So he's got the loons rolling in. Loons and minions dropping the cleanup early before he even drops the balloons in. RC steps up. Going to deal with the defending RC. Free spell assist. And the RC can step forward. Take out the wizard tower and the multi inferno. Multi inferno that's probably already taken some damage from the super wizards. Yeah, it had already taken a little bit of a hit. So King working up towards the Town Hall. He's going to move in. Okay, can we be seeing a Town Hall takedown from the King here? Is that possible? The Queen's probably not going to. King ability might need to be burned. Que oh, Queen is going to. Never mind, guys. Queen is going to step up. Town Hall's going to get taken out here. This could be a pro-level hit from Sander. So King takes down the Town Hall. Queen still holding on to ability. Still has a freeze, a heal, and two haste for the loons. Scattershot to worry about one air targeting hero, but there's two headhunters to use here. Warden is on air, so that's, well, yeah, one of the more basic points dealt with. You see Tunnel's home quite early on, and I, I understand why. I understand why. Ideally, I think he would have liked to have been able to hold on to it, send the headhunters under. 
But as long as that ground expo goes down right next to the queen, which I think it's going to. I think we're looking at a triple. I think we're actually looking like... Oh my god. Is Sander really going to get a three here? Headhunter's moving on the queen. Are they going to get a down? If they do... Oh my god. Sander. 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 Coming in with a three star. On cam. Wow. Wow. Oh, time fail actually, yes. Good point. I can see Cam Wow in chat saying time. Granny Clash saying time. Everyone saying time in chat. I think you're right. My god, that was impressive though. That was a solid hit from Sander. Pro level as far as 48 balloons go. GG. G G. 91? 91% two star all in. Sander. Well played, man. Joe in on Kratos. Okay. So, Joe, I'm expecting big things from you, my friend. Okay, so Joe coming in with a... Is this going to be a queen charge? He's got two healers in the camps, and he's got a CC with no siege. I'd argue that if he's going to go no siege, why has he not got a siege barracks and delay the queen charge? I mean, I'd argue that may be the better use of it. Maybe even just pop the siege barracks a little bit early. Once the Pekka and a few wizards have come out. You know, maybe I'm just 200 IQ, whereas Joe's only 198. Either way, he's got his queen charge rolling. He's got five healers on the queen. He's got four rages to use. Uh-oh. Fan hall has to be frozen up. The healers do move into range of the queen. She steps up. She will deal with the defending queen here, actually. Yeah, that'll be no problem. Raged up. Even if slowed down by the Gigabomb, she'll get the job done. So queen goes down. Skeletons move in and don't distract the queen in time. She does get the job done. CC pulled Witch, Dragon, CC. Poison down nice and nearly. Freeze on the Expo and Defending Warden. The Queen is still raged up with those healers. May need to drop another Rage spell very, very soon though. There we go. Second Rage. Third Rage, sorry, goes down. This is very Queen Charge centric. It's all about getting the Queen Charge in, making sure it does its job, and then, then going for the wounds for cleanup. Queen's ability is going to get forced here. It was. The king forced it. The queen can now, however, take out the defending warden. Warden goes down. Can the queen step up and get rid of the sweepers? She's not going to. She's going to move in and try and help out the balloons on the left side of the court. Most of the balloons sent in. Nine more to go. It's an auto still in hand. Holding on to it until, I guess, the last possible moments. Um... If the Queen were to step up inside the Eternal Tome, that would be perfect. So maybe now... Oh, maybe now? Perfect timing. Joe, well played. Well played. So if only he had two Lightnings here. Two Lightnings or a Freeze or something to get that Sweeper taken out. The Queen's going to take it out, though. Queen will deal with it. We've got the scatter shot in the top side, though. Scatter shot on the right side of the core, too. So triple is out of the question. There's nothing to get these balloons through the rest of the attack. All in all, though, I'm, I'm going to say that was one of the most creative hits we've seen. So turning a very, very restrictive attack strategy into a pretty standard one, really. Standard queen charge, really powerful queen charge, too. Making it through a large chunk of the base. And still going. Still going. The healers are buffing her up. She's going to get through the wall. Take out a couple more structures. Maybe a Tesla and the RC altar. That may be all she gets though. Scatter shot locked on. Expo locked on. Queen won't last much longer here. 71% two star from Joe. Great try, man. Thomas. He. He, um. He, he's basically just sent all the balloons in at 6 o'clock without doing anything else. So, um. You know, in theory. In theory. That, that could work. Um, I mean, especially if Mrs. was a Town Hall 8. I mean, if Mrs. was a Town Hall 8, that would have definitely uh, tripled. But he's got 20 archers, and he's got his log launcher with something in there. I don't know what. He's going to need to use the archers to... Oh, why is he going in from that side? He's risking a zero here. He's risking a zero star in a big way. I kind of feel like sending the log launcher into the town hall would be the right approach here. Or maybe even if he switched it for a wall wrecker, but I don't know what he's got inside that siege, so it's a tough call to make. 
So King's clearing down the outside. He's going to add some more percentages. Up to 34% right now. Queen. And the, oh, the Log Launcher did nothing. The Log Launcher basically didn't even activate the Town Hall. It popped super early on. I'm not sure why. But we're looking at a 1 star here from Mittas. So, Ken Wow did get a 0 star. Basically just for taking the wrong troops in. Thomas coming in with a 1 star here. So, Town Hall Central can make it quite difficult to get through with this kind of troop composition. I feel like in a situation like this, you sort of need to mitigate for that by using your Siege, bar uh, siege Machine effectively. I feel like the Log Launcher may have been the wrong choice there. I feel like the Log Launcher was the wrong choice for what he, uh, what he was trying to achieve. Oh, we've got a Stream Boost thing going. Oh, cool. Promote 6,600 times. What? I'm just reading it now. I don't know what it actually means. Um, is that a channel points thing? It says 25% completed. Does anyone know what that's referring to? Or is that referring to the stream boost that we already have in effect? Maybe that's what it means. Can he actually get this? I was writing him off. And he's actually going to get away... He's actually getting away with this. How on earth? How on earth did he clutch this up? Thomas. That was either luck or judgment. I'm going with luck. I'm going with luck. But Thomas, fair play, man. Fair play. <laughs> that's what persistence does. All planned. Okay. Okay, we'll pretend that's the case, Tam Tam. So... <laughs> So guys on YouTube, that's what happens if you don't just quit the attack when you think it's going wrong. Keep pushing on and good things can happen. Alright, so Granny Clash, you're coming in with 48 balloons, 8 minions, Ice Golem, Baby Dragon, 2 Sneaking Goblins, 2 Skeleton Spells. I'm not going to let you can all see it on the screen, can't you? I don't need to tell you what's there. Should have realised that earlier, of course. Okay. Okay, Blimp does a little bit of work there. Takes out the top sides of the core. We've got the King in at 12.30. The King's going to sue down. Now what's the play? Is the King going to move in towards the Town Hall? Is the King going to move in towards the Town Hall here? I think he might, if he survives here. That's if he survives. Headhunters are down though. Headhunters are taken care of. And the king is going to move in. He is going to make his move. Town Hall should get taken care of here. King ability burnt nice and early. Queen is still active. Is she going to follow him in? Probably doesn't need to. Definitely doesn't need to. Town Hall goes down. Granny Clash, a great start. He's got 40 balloons left. Two skeleton spells. Three haste. Three freeze and a heal. She's got two headhunters. So the headhunters they are going to be difficult to manage, actually. So the headhunters are going to need to take out the RC and the core. That's the main target for those headhunters. The problem here, though, is the King and the RC are right next to each other. The RC is a ranged troop, so the King is more likely to step up to the headhunters and start taking sh uh, shots at them. Right, so loons move in. Headhunters, they're going to have to come in from the bottom side, too, so they'll end up tackling the King first, I think. He's still holding on to him. Freeze goes down on the, he uh, the RC and King. Still no headhunters in play. One skeleton spell still left to use. The RC is doing some nice work over at 7.30. Balloon's pushing through. We're getting taken out by all these heavy air defenses. Multi-Inferno does a ton of damage to balloons. Melts them like they're nothing. RC's still up. This is looking pretty good for GC. If his RC still had ability, I'd be calling triple right now. But she doesn't, so it's not. Headhunters are making a beeline for the RC, but hit giant bomb skeleton finishes them off, and yeah, it's a two-star from GC, but a great try. Great hit. Eighty-three percent so far. Eighty-four. Can it rise any more? I'm not sure it will. We've got two minions on the elixir storage at four o'clock. They're gonna get wiped out here. It's not going to be. It's not going to be at any more percent. It's going to finish on 84. Good try, GC. Or maybe it won't, actually. Elixir storage. Can it go down? 
few more hits, depends how quickly this eagle fires. It does go down. It does, so it's going to be an 85% too. I'm not sure percentage really comes into it in this war though. So, I hope you enjoyed the attacks that you saw in the war. Rainberries was phenomenal, the first attack you'll have seen. There were some other great ones that came really, really close to getting the job done, but Rainberries was the only triple. Was Mass Balloons as good as Mass Golems? No. No, it was not. It was nowhere near as good. But was it workable? Well, yeah, apparently so. Apparently it is possible to three-star. It is possible to get consistent too. And I think the only problem with it is that it requires a lot more skill than you'd need for a mass golem hit. So as far as spam goes, this one does require quite a little bit of background work just to get it ready for the balloons to do their work. Um... I'm going to try and attack now, as promised now, guys. I didn't have one for you on stream uh, or on the war because, of course, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I kind of rushed it and only got a low percent two star. It's not something that I really want to show off too much. Um, I don't think it's in fitting with the video. So I'm going to go in for one now. Um, we're going to give it our best shot. We'll see what we can do. And if I can get a decent percent two, I'm going to be kind of happy. So anyway, army composition. By the way, I'm using that. It's not rush into it too much. 48 balloons, of course. And ice golems, that's going to offer some tanking for maybe the queen, maybe the RC. I'm not sure yet. Maybe even the bats. We'll see what the base is that we're dealing with. Got a few minions, a couple of wizards, and an archer. That's just clean up troops and maybe funneling. Super wall breaker to give the king and queen access if the base presents itself to allow us to do that. And a couple of headhunters. So... I don't really need to tell you what headhunters are for, that's kind of obvious. Spell-wise, we've got a heal spell in there, just in case I have a massive group of balloons that I want to keep nice and buffed up. A couple of free spells, we'll see. We'll see if there's a use for them, maybe with the bats, possibly. The poison, of course, for the CC and the haste to push the balloons forward and through the base. I've gone for a drag, loon, blimp, or stone slammer. You can see I've got one of each, or I've got a couple of blimps, actually. Um... It's re a really good CC to have for different situations. So you can take a town hall down with it as long as you rage it up. You can use it to uh, take out a few structures in the core. You could even drop it on a hero. And as long as the dragon's raged up and the balloons are tanking for the hero, the dragon can get through a defending queen or RC. Anyway, enough talk, guys. Let's give it a go and see what we can do. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay, if I don't if I don't three star this, that's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? And you know what? Because it's a spam attack, there's actually a genuine risk I won't three star it. This is awkward. This is very awkward. Okay, we'll drop the balloons in first and foremost. We'll get a wizard up at the top just to clear out the dark elixir storage. And I'm gonna get the king working his way down and around. So we'll try and get rid of these archer towers, or at least one of them anyway. So wizard's doing a good job on the top side. Queen in behind the king. Uh-oh. Queen get away from the single? She did get away from the single, thank goodness for that. That could have been a disaster. Well, not a disaster. It would have been quite unfortunate, though. Um, Now what? Now what do I do? I send in Super Wall Breaker. Ice Golem. And the RC. Let's get that single taken care of. Lost the Queen to the CC because I was not paying attention. Oh my gosh, guys. This is going down in flames. Well, it's not quite that bad, but it's not It's not looking as good as I was hoping it would be. Still, we're not failing this. The defending base, of course, does not have a defending RC. So that kind of plays into our hands because... We've already taken down the one air targeting uh, hero. Let's fire off the RC's ability. What I'm going to do, let me drop the bat spells over here at three. Let's haste the balloons through. Stone Summit goes in. I'll freeze up the town hall. Freeze the wizard tower. And yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe we are going to triple this quite easily, guys. Maybe we are. In fact, we're not maybe going to. This is going to be a complete why. Um, it's a little bit of a cheat. 
It's a little bit of a cheat. Of course, we did end up getting lucky and getting a Town Hall 12. But the thinking behind this attack, I was looking to try and take out sort of key defenses, take out the... Um, I would have taken out the RC as well if I'd have, well, had the opportunity to do so. I clearly didn't, of course, because the, um, there's no RC on Town Hall 12. But I took the Queen out, the King and Queen working down from 12 until 9, got the job done there. I uh, held the Siege Machine back, the Stone Slammer, to work on the Town Hall, so I sent that straight into the Town Hall. And the Loons just had a really nice path, working around from 9 down to 6 and then up to 3. So, because this is a 3-star, because it's still a 3-star, I'm going to call this my live attack for the video. And let's pretend this happened in the war. Let's show some respect. Let's not swag things. Let's just drop everything in. We dropped everything we have. There we go. I'm not swagging anything. That's disrespectful. So all of my spells, all of my troops, all of my abilities used. Because, you know, that's the kind of guy that I am. And we did get a three star with 48 balloons. Let's ignore the fact it was a Town Hall 12. And I'm just going to call that a big old dub. W for Big Vale. Okay. So, guys. What a nice way to end the video. So, uh, yep, yeah, that is the second episode in the will it spam series there will be more there'll be a lot more coming up so i think one of the next ones i'm going to focus on not sure if it's the exact next one or maybe it'll be in a couple of videos i'm thinking of doing a mass minion one i've seen a few people toy around with it i've had a few people ask me if we can do a video on that so yeah why not why not give it a try um but yeah guys just a another quick self plug if you haven't checked me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bigvale83, I'm usually live around about 5 p.m. Eastern every single day for between two, three, four hours, somewhere around that region, depending on what I'm covering. We do friendly wars, we do uh, knockouts, we do uh, competitive war action. Uh, my Big Bale Invitational tournament's running at the moment, so there's some huge matchups to come up in that. If you want to catch them, then drop me a follow on Twitch and you'll be alerted when I go live. Uh, you can also drop into my Discord as well. Um, so it's my own personal uh, Discord. I'll put the link to that in the description of the video. So it should be quite easy for you to join. But yeah, guys, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've been inspired by another potential meta attack. For now, guys, Big Veil is out.